welcome guys i hope you all guys have got notified about this new video if you have haven't then change this icon to this icon tap the bell button to get a personalized email from the youtube about my new videos so today we are going to learn some standardized key we every day use keyboard from our mechanical work that is from the pressing the key to the keyboard till the uh, digital work that is till the monitor how it appears we will get back to it we will see inside of it we will see how it, the data transfers and how the ma our message reaches till the monitor so friends sorry for that we cannot go to the complete process but yeah we can um, but yeah as per now we can uh, see how what will be the final code or what will be the resultant code that the computer will get that's not a big deal we, we can do it from our level so stay tuned we will today learn about ascii code a c double i american standard codes for information interchange the name says it all standard codes for information interchange interchange that means you go in any region of the world you will get the same code same output to the hardware try it out once uh, change your system language to you know, from united states to united india whatever it is change the language to united kingdom english or anything like that or any language that you understand basically you will see that some symbolic words or the upper uh, numeric or upper numeric patch of your keyboard gets changed not physically but when you tap a button instead of that you get a different symbol on the screen on the monitor that's the thing but basically due to this ascii codes every region has its own codes so that's why they are standardized and that's why you get different things for the uh, different results for different languages for different regions so basically we will talk talk about standard ascii codes ascii codes are used by almost every input and output devices let it be printer monitor scanner anything anything they use this ascii codes for the standardization of the results and displays and outputs so what is the format of ascii code ascii code is basically of a 7 bit code I hope you remember what is seven bit bits and bytes in your last lecture. So ASCII code is basically of seven bit code of the format X seven, X six, X five, X four, X three, X two, X. Here each X represents a bit, a unary bit. That zero or one. The combination of the seven zeros and ones make a code, make a standardized output. Well, this is the least significant bit, and this is the most significant bit. Each and every word, each and every symbol has its own ASCII code. Yeah, ये तो होना ही है. अब अगर हर किसी के लिए अलग कोड होगा, तभी तो output device उसको समझ पाएगा, तभी तो record कर पाएगा. And standardized होने के कारण तुम output device change करो. In fact, you change your monitor. to another company or to another brand or another monitor the output will be same why because it is standardized so that's the important of ascii codes so let's learn it in a tabular form these are the seven bits code let's separate it this into two parts one part of this is four bit code and the another part of the remaining three bit codes so we will write this four bit code over here uh wait a minute let me rub this off So let's be write the four bit code over here. X four, X three, X two, X one, and the remaining three bit code over here. X five, X six, X seven. Don't forget this is the most significant bit. This is the least significant bit. Bit. That means this will come to the rightmost part, and this will come to the leftmost part when we are reading from the left to right. So here yeah, we will write from one, two, three, starting from the zero. Can you guess how much maximum we can go for? Yeah, that's right. We can maximum go for fifteen. Let me just finish off this table.
the maximum we can go for is 15 that's 1 1 1 1 double 0 double 1 0 1 triple 1 0 and the final number 1 1 1 1 I hope you guys are getting this don't worry I will put this image in the link below you can get the image of this table let's part the uh, let partition this table into into six columns for this 3D bit code Or here also we can reach maximum up to 111. So let's see. Here we here we have formed our complete table. Here we get a seven bit code by by adding these two columns. For example, you you want to get this first. Whatever thing we will fill up the table. For instance, whatever thing is over here. If you want to get this, so from starting from the most significant bit to the least significant bit, it will go like 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So we will get the result as this one. I hope this is clear. Let's fill this table out quick. Five, six, seven, eight, and the final number nine. For here, we will also continue with the symbolic representation. Colon, semicolon, descending equals to question mark. Then it's a bread and A B C D E H G H I J K L M N O then P A Q R S T U V W X Y Z then from O A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T this is a rough form of table. You can see the digits not are matching with each other. So, for instance, you can see almost all the symbols and all the alphabets, all the numbers are covered in this table. There are many blank spaces. You can guess this blank spaces and for the other functions that are on our keyboard or for one space is for the space itself and other blank spaces are for the other functions. So in this way, if you want to type 0, you will type as 1100000000. This 7 bit you call will, <coughs> will represent your 0. In this way, you can get all the letters, numbers in your ASCII code. So try it for yourself. It will if it is actually fun. Try to write letters like E. Try to write your name in capital, small or as you want, or in general English, first capital, other small. Try to write your surname. Try to write your city, town. Try it out. You can figure it out. So to write complete your name you will get 777 21 bits only for write your complete name so that's to exit that's why we will use so that's why we have compiler linker and loader and all those things in intermediate intermediate so that we can convert easily our data to the <coughs> binary form i hope you got that and everything is clear in the next lecture we will learn about binary arithmetic Write these are names, sermon, town and all these things. Try to write editor in this thing. Let me know in the comment if you have written the complete code. And don't forget to ask us any of your doubts or queries. 
So that's all for now. Thank you very much. Do anything you want, but keep learning.